turn it around and use it when I have it. It's all being on me. And welcome to the Inspired Overflow Radio Show. I am your host, Casey Starlong. And look, I'm just so excited that God has led you here to another week of Inspired Overflow. Now, if this is your first time ever listening or maybe you're watching us live on Facebook, I want to welcome you. Here at Inspired Overflow, we're more than just a radio show. We are a radio ministry designed to help you live your best life with Jesus Christ. And so we try to do that in a variety of different ways. So every now and again, God puts on my heart uh, different people to come and speak and preach the word of God. And then every now and again, God sends us great guests like we have today for them to share what God has placed on their heart. And so before I introduce our guests, I just got to give a shout out to our church sponsor of the month, Haven House City of Refuge, where the pastor is Michael Folks and the first lady is Phyllis Folks. Haven House City of Refuge, we thank you so much for partnering with us here at Inspired Overflow. Now, maybe you're listening or maybe you're watching and you're kind of figuring out where you can go and get a good church home. We want to recommend to you Haven House City of Refuge. They're located at right here in the city of St. Louis at 8786 North Broadway in St. Louis, Missouri, 63147. Their Sunday morning worship service is every Sunday at 1030 a.m., and um, Pastor Michael Folks, he's doing a Bible study lesson on Tuesdays, um, beginning at six o'clock, which is called Fully Committed. So we just thank God for our great, wonderful friends at Haven House City of Refuge. Thank you so much for partnering with us here at Inspired Overflow. Now, we're going to talk a little bit about today's show. And um, our guest, she, she's, not, she's, not, um, she's not a stranger to Inspired Overflow. In fact, when you listen to the Inspired Overflow radio show, that opening voice that you hear, it's none other than actress, director, voiceover artist, Michelle Dillard. And so she's back here with us for Inspired Overflow, and she's joined with her husband, Roderick Dillard. So I want to welcome Michelle Dillard back to Inspired Overflow, and welcome for the first time, Roderick Dillard, to the Inspired Overflow radio show. Welcome, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for having us. So y'all have been married for five years, mm -hmm. and you guys are spending Valentine's Day with us. Yes. yes. So we, we feel so honored. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to be talking a little bit about um, a special project, Michelle, um, that God has placed on your heart called the hashtag Me Too, Her Voice Must Be Heard. So this is a special project, you guys, taking place um, in the city of St. Louis. We want to make sure that you come out. Um, and so unless you've been kind of living under a rock, I mean, it's been all in the news about Me Too. And, um, you know, Michelle, I was just kind of doing a little research to just get ready for today's show. And um, I found out that um, when the allegations of uh, Hollywood film mogul Harvey Weinstein came out, um, the actress Alyssa Milano, she, she, she shared a tweet. And she said, you know what? To increase awareness, everybody that's been a victim of sexual abuse or sexual harassment I want you guys to share a tweet that says me too so that everybody will know that this is a, a huge issue and so the world responded to her tweet okay so the me too uh, movement it's gone viral and by october the 24th 1.7 million voices representing 85 countries responded to me too wow to say that they were all victims of either sexual abuse or sexual harassment mm -hmm. and so michelle god has placed on your heart to do a theatrical production called hashtag me too her voice must be heard it's taking place in st louis on march the 4th at Fontvine university and we'll talk a little bit more about those details but I think the audience would really appreciate kind of knowing how did you how did you get this idea? Well, in the wake of everything that's um, like you mentioned earlier that has occurred in Hollywood, the Olympics, and uh, the military, it's obvious that this is hitting every industry, and we cannot be naive. It is also hitting the church, and this issue must be dealt with. It must be talked about. And we can't uh, hide our heads under the sand at all. So I was inspired to do this um, uh, probably about five or six months ago because 
those women in Hollywood, Olympics or whatever, their story is going to be told. They're going to be able to share their story on national TV. But the women that live right next door to us, our co-workers, our friends, our sisters, our girlfriends, have the same hashtag Me Too story. And I wanted to give a voice to those women um, that right here in our community and discuss how this is impacting not just the African-American community, the Christian community, but our communities, period. And um, I must say, hashtag Me Too as well for myself. And uh, I worked many, many years for the airlines and, and, and experienced some sexual harassment um, with, with uh, male flight attendants, pilots. It's, it's out there. It's hitting every industry. And we cannot, again, be naive to think that um, everyone is not affected by it. So, again, I just wanted to uh, have a conversation about it, bring more awareness to it, and, and give a voice to the local average woman. Absolutely. So we're joined in the studio with Michelle Dillard. She's an actress, she's director, um, and she is the, the creator of this special project called Hashtag Me Too. Her voice must be heard. And what this event is, it's telling the stories of survivors and victims of sexual abuse and harassment through song, dance, and poetry, which is taking place here in St. Louis on Sunday, March the 4th at three o'clock and it's inside of the Jack C. Taylor Library on the campus of Font Bonne University. And so I'm just encouraging all of you guys to support this project. You can get your tickets at brownpapertickets.com. I know I got my ticket for me and my mom. We're gonna we're gonna do kind of a mother daughter thing, and we'll, we'll come after church and, and enjoy lunch, and then enjoy this production. You know, Michelle, I think what's really interesting, and I've known you for a couple of years, we're on the prayer line, your voice um, is on the Inspired Overflow radio show, but I know that God uh, moves through you through theater, and, you know, there may be some people that are like, you know, how do you bring healing through the act, theater and through the theatrical arts? Explain to us a little bit how God has been able to use you to minister through theater. Um, I, I believe that God need people everywhere mm -hmm. and stories, you know, I mean, there is so many, my heart's desire is to just take certain stories from the Bible. I love, uh, ministering to women and there's so many ideals that God has given me, uh, not just for women, but to pick up stories from the Bible and educate and empower and, and talk to, uh, everyone about God's goodness, his love, his healing, his deliverance. Of course, you will be entertained, but that is not the whole goal here. But you will hear the stories of real life stories of some women who have experienced sexual harassment, sexual assault, sexual abuse, and they're going to be um, telling their stories uh, via video. And um, in between that, you will hear some beautiful poetry, monologues, songs that help tell the stories of these individuals and other individuals. So you will also be entertained, but you need people to know and understand that you're not coming to a comedy club, mm -hmm. you're not coming to a comedy program, but um, we are telling the stories of these survivors and, and, and how they also come out triumphant in the end, it's not just going to be heavy, sad stories, but um, the whole program will tell the stories of, of the survivors. And it's just God put on my heart to tell it, uh, showcase it in a way through song, monologues, poetry, and video, and whatever else he gives us. There is also a talkback session at the end um, for others to share their experiences and, and talk about how we can make a difference in our community and bring awareness to all individuals to um, discuss this issue so that one day it can at least we can have a conversation about it and, and continue bring awareness to everyone. Absolutely. You know, I want to take a second and talk to those that may be watching or are listening to the interview and you say, you know what, I haven't been a victim of sexual abuse. I haven't been a victim of sexual um, harassment. This whole Me Too campaign, it just kind of wipes, you know, goes over the head. But I really think it's important and I encourage you to come out and support this project um, because more than anything, I believe hearing the stories of 
taking place on Sunday, March the 4th at 3 o'clock p.m. And it's located inside of the Jack C. Taylor Library on the campus of Fontvine University. So I want to shift roles a little bit because you got your husband here. Yes. Y'all been married for five years. Mm -hmm. You're spending Valentine's Day with us here at Inspired Overflow. Now, Roderick, your wife, she's talked about that, you know, this is something that's been bubbling um, in her on the inside for the past couple of months. How have your eyes been open as a man of God to this Me Too movement? Well, as a man of God, I noticed that this was impregnated into my wife, and I saw this coming to birth. And what it does for me is it lets me know as a Christian man to be very aware of my actions, pay close attention to how I entreat the sisters, not just the sisters in the church, but the sisters all together. I'm respectful of my wife even when I'm not in her presence. This hashtag me too, her voice must be heard, lets me know that there are hurting women everywhere, mm -hmm. not just on the television. And that um, through my wife's project, I'm just led to support her. Absolutely, and I know she appreciates your support. And you know, this reminds me of scripture where it talks about revealed. Yes. yes. You know, what has been hidden in the dark, it will be revealed. Mm -hmm. And you know, my husband, he's been talking about that, you know, this is, this is a time of exposure. And, yes. um, you know, God is pulling back the curtain to reveal. Well, you guys, we thank you so much for tuning in and watching the show. We've got, got a couple of more minutes left. But if you have questions for our guests, go ahead and type them in the comment section. And if we have time on the air, we'll be happy to, to share those comments with our guests. I like this song. Casey Starlong, and I just want to encourage you to stay connected with us here at Inspired Overflow. You can do so by visiting us online at www.inspiredoverflow.com. Now, the newsletters, I want you to sign up for the newsletter so I can send you kind of behind the scenes information about the show and just upcoming events connected to this ministry. Now, our mission at Inspired Overflow is to use radio, television, and the internet to tell people about Jesus. That's what we do. Statistics talk about that two-thirds of the world, they don't know Jesus Christ. They don't know about the Lord. That's, that's like six billion people who don't know about Jesus. So we know that the Great Commission, it talks about in Matthew 28, that Jesus' last command to the disciples before he ascended back to heaven, which he said, go and make disciples. So that's what we do here at Inspired Overflow. And I want to put out a request to you. Will you consider becoming a partner with this ministry? As a monthly partner, your financial partnership with us allows us to continue to purchase airtime on this station so we can tell the world about Jesus. So I'm going to ask for you to prayerfully consider partnering with this ministry. You can visit us online at www.inspiredoverflow.com. Click the partner button and your monthly donation will help us continue to tell the world about Jesus. So before our commercial break, uh, we've been talking to Michelle and Roderick Dillard. They've been spending their Valentine's Day with us to talk about a very special project, which is called Hashtag Me Too, Her Voice Must Be Heard. Now, this is a theatrical production taking place in St. Louis on Sunday, March the 4th on the campus of Fontbonne University. Tickets are $12. I already mentioned that me and my mom, we have our tickets. We're going to go and we're going to support this play to hear the stories of sexual abuse survivors and survivors of harassment. And so before we went to break, um, Roderick, I asked you, you know, as a man, how your eyes have been open um, since your wife has spearheaded this project. And um, tell us a little bit about just what can men do what men can do is pay attention to what you do, what you say, and who you're talking to. Uh, our, my wife is my, my jewel, and women are our jewel. We're to, we're to take care of the women as men. So you may not recognize that you may have been offending someone. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to that. You may not have recognized just by touching their shoulder or something that that's a form of harassment. Pay attention to that. Pay attention to the details. Men are, men are people that follow. We follow perfect examples. 
so we pay attention to what other men do. So as a Christian man and a Christian husband, I make it a point to pay attention to my wife, make sure that I'm not offending her in any way, and even her surrounding friends, I entreat them as I do my wife. Yeah, you know, I think if anything, this is pulled back, you know, the cover just to, to make all of us more aware, all of us more aware to make sure that everybody's comfortable. You know, Michelle, I know when God calls us to do projects, especially a special project like the um, hashtag Me Too, Her Voice Must Be Heard, you know, there are needs. So you need people to support, Absolutely. right? You need people to, to purchase tickets, not just say, oh, that's great that you're doing that. But we need you to purchase your tickets, okay? So we need you to support this project by going to uh, Brown Paper Tickets, brownpapertickets.com. And you can just type in Me Too. That's what I did. And um, it'll pull up and you can purchase your tickets for $12. But you also are looking for vendors and sponsors to Absolutely. help. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, we have space also for uh, vendors um, and uh, sponsors. If you'd like to just donate um, to Until You've Walked In Her Shoes, uh, the hashtag Me Too Project. If you would like to advertise in our program book, we also uh, we have a few days to submit the information for that, uh, your monies in the form. You can contact me at dillydallion01 at gmail.com. That's D-I-L-L-Y-D-A-L-L-Y-I-N-G-01 at gmail.com. And I can uh, send you the rate sheet and uh, the form to fill out for you to get that back to me so that your information can get put in our program book. I have to get that information to the printer within a few days. But we have plenty of room left for vendors, if you're interested in being a vendor at this project, uh, at this particular program. And um, I just wanted to emphasize, yes, it is at Plantbon University in the Jaxie Taylor Library in the lower level in the Lewis Auditorium. If you're just looking for the Lewis Auditorium on the campus, you won't find it. You must come to the library. It, it's in the horseshoe, um, right on the corner of Big Ben and why down and again if you just want to donate um, because the the future plan is to put on more projects bigger projects um, later in the year uh, the year that speaks to women issues mm -hmm. issues that impact women yeah you know I think somebody like me I've never done a theatrical production you know, we may not understand what goes into that. So tell us a little bit about like the rehearsals and just kind of all the things that you put into this so you can do this with excellence to glorify God. And I, I do love doing things with with excellence to glorify God. It, it takes a lot of work. Um, I'm, I'm uh, getting my feet wet a little bit more as a director. I generally do more acting. I love acting. And... Um, uh, the, you don't have the responsibilities as an actress, <laughs> as, as, as a director does, because you're responsible for getting everybody together, working with everyone's schedule, and um, and people are busy, and, and I'm busy as well. But, you know, you, you just have to get those organization skills in place and, and, and get people in there to do the rehearsals, because you do want things to be done with excellence and not look raggedy. Um, because no, not we, looking we, raggedy. <laughs> we serve a very excellent God, yes, and yes. we want everything done, uh, like I said, decently and in order. But it, it does take a lot of work, but I have a great cast, a great assistant director, Rhonda Kropp, and um, God is just, it, it, it takes a lot of prayer, too. So I, I just believe he's ordering my steps. I love doing this. I left the airline after nearly 30 years, and I asked God to open up doors for me to pursue my passion in voiceovers and, and acting and, and having the opportunity to perform. And uh, I graduated in May with my master's um, in theater. So that's why I'm trying to do a little more directing because that degree lended more of uh, uh, attention to directing. Awesome. So I'm just trusting God to order my steps to do more in the theatrical field. And he is definitely ordering your steps. Michelle and Roderick, I want to thank you guys so much for joining us here to the Inspired Overflow radio show. And Inspired Overflow thank listeners, you. make sure that you support this project. It's called Hashtag Me Too. Her voice must be heard. It is Sunday, March the 4th. 
on the campus of Fontvine University. As Michelle said, it is located inside of the Jack C. Taylor Library. Once you go in the library, you go to the lower level in the auditorium. That's where this production will take place. It begins at 3 p.m. You can purchase your tickets for $12 online by going to www.brownpapertickets.com. If you're interested in putting out an ad for her ad book, or maybe you want to be a vendor, call her, 314-920-6596. Hash to, me too, hashtag me too, her voice must be heard. I'm going to be there, so I want to see you guys there as well. So, you know, before we close, we got just a couple of announcements that I want to make sure that you know all about. And I know my time is running down. I see I got three minutes, so I'm going to try to get through them as, as quick as I can. I got my husband with me in the studio, so I got to give a shout out to his upcoming event this Saturday. Um, he's hosting a gathering for men called Strapped for the Kingdom. This is a, a ministry. It's a gathering just for men. So y'all can just come and talk about men's stuff and God and relationships and all that kind of stuff. Um, they meet every Saturday, every third Saturday mm -hmm. at uh, 1321 South 11th Street, which is the Kingdom House um, from three o'clock to five o'clock. It's completely free. I'm going to bring some refreshments so y'all can have some to eat. Because my husband, he's like, he's like caveman. But I'm, I'm going to make sure that y'all have some refreshments. So ladies, invite your husbands, invite your sons, invite your nephews to come out to Strap for the Kingdom this Saturday from 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock at 1321 South 11th Street. I'm telling you, it's just going to be a great time for men. Also, be sure to visit our website at www.inspiredoverflow.com. We got a couple of events coming up that are hosted by this ministry. One of them is called How to Start a Radio Ministry. So if God has put on your heart that you want to have like your own radio ministry and maybe you want to get into podcasting, visit www.inspiredoverflow.com for more information about that upcoming workshop. Michelle and Roderick, we got yes. one minute. Who wants to say something? I would like to okay. say something because God instructs us to do things decent and in order. This production is being performed, but being put on by Michelle's Corporation. Until you walk into her shoes, Incorporated, which is a nonprofit organization. So any of your sponsor contributions, yes. they are tax deductible. You just have to see me. All right. Okay. Well, you guys, you can support their organization until you walk in their shoes. It's a 501c3. So all of your... All of your donations are going to be tax deductible. So that's a win-win. And you're also blessing and expanding the kingdom of God. Well, you guys, I hope that you've enjoyed today's show. It was truly a pleasure to be part um, and to spend this time with you. Don't forget, buy your tickets at brownpapertickets.com to the hashtag MeTooProject here in St. Louis on Sunday, March the 4th. Well, that's my music, so that means that we got to go. <laughs> so to the Dillards, thank you guys. Thank you Thanks very again much. for coming. Happy Valentine's Day to happy you. Happy Valentine's Day. Hey, happy Valentine's happy Day Valentine's to you Day, all. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. All right, bye guys.